Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to do the vertical line test. Uh, it is to decide whether a graph represents a function or just a relation. So we are working on IXLQ5 identifying functions, vertical line test. So all you have to do is drawing an imaginary vertical line and then see how many points will they cross each other. So for example at the tip of this graph I'm only touching one point but as I go to the right I start crossing this at more than one point that's just one and then here's the second point so if your vertical line touches any more than one point then you don't have a function so there's another assignment uh, that I did uh, before you can locate it uh, in my channel Q4 on IXL or you can just click the link at the top uh, to get more information about the vertical line test. So this right here is not a function, it is just a relation. Let's move on and then see another one. Oh, if you do the same, move that vertical line along your graph, you see that I'm only touching one point, there's only one point of intersection between the purple and blue it's always touching only one point or no point at all so this is a function this right here is not a function because if I cut this right in the middle you can see that there are two points that I can cross with one single vertical line so this is not a function so right here we do have a function that's the point of intersection right there over here but the other one is not a point so this is a function let's skip a level and then see if the questions get any harder okay right here I see that this one is a function not a function not a function not a function let's show the problems with these three if I just do that two points of intersection if I do this two points of intersection oh three points of intersection and then right here I have one and two if you can come up with just one example then it is not a function but in the first one it is a function if you draw your vertical line if you draw your vertical line and then start moving it along the graph it'll cross the graph at only one point so it's going to be the first one this is a function the others are not let's submit it okay right here these two are not a function that's not a function there's my function let's see why so okay that's my vertical line I'm touching only one point let me just okay let's move this and the green and blue meet at only one point or no point when I'm in between these two they don't touch each other like the green doesn't touch the blue so p one point of intersection all the time that's why that's my function in here with the circles you see that there are two points one here another one here that's not a function moving it over here I'm crossing the graph at two points here's one point and then here's the other one same logic over here basically if you have a circle or if you have a graph like this or like that that's not a function because when you draw your vertical line you have one x value at this point at that vertical line but that vertical line corresponds to three different levels on the y-axis the first one is over here, the second one, and the third one. That's why each, uh, for a function, each x element, each of the input values should have only one output value, or should have only one, one y value. Okay, let's skip another level, and do one more question, and we will be done. Over here, if we have our vertical line, oops, let's scroll this down if we have the vertical line I'm crossing it at two points 
this looks like my, my function. Uh, oh, it says select all that apply. This one, there's only one point of intersection all the time. This is just another function. My first function, the second one here. And then let's move the green over here. Point of intersection is all the time. There's only one. So this is another function. The green and blue meet at one single point every time I move this. So that's all, guys. If they meet at one point or no point at all, then you have a function. If your vertical line touches more than one point on the graph, then it's not a function. It's just a relation. Uh, thanks for watching. That's how you decide uh, whether you have a function or not on a coordinate plane. And I will see you in another video.